afternoon, sir. If you could please state your full name for the record. Hank Miller. And Hank, um, would you mind telling me how you knew Buddy Edmonds? Up until recently, we were business partners at Big Daddy's Used Car Lot. What happened? Did you have a falling out? A falling out? More like a shoving out. A few years ago, Buddy's dealership was going down the drain, and he came to me desperate for help. It had great potential, so I took him under my wing. I invested a sizable amount into his business. Within a year's time, it really turned around, and that's when Buddy gave me the business. How so? Buddy had been skimming money off the top. I finally found out and confronted him about it three months ago, and he said he'd set it straight. Then he and our secretary, who just happens to be my wife, doctored the books to make me look like a thief. Then he told me if I didn't make tracks and leave the dealership for good, he was going to press charges against me. Back up a moment. He had your wife working against you? Rules don't apply to Buddy. Not only did he steal my half of the business, but he also stole my wife. And the affair was going on before he even married his wife. How low could this guy sink? Unbelievably low. He was trying to convince my wife to press abuse charges against me. Hank, any truth to those allegations? None. He cooked them up so he could sue for big money in the divorce. I really can't believe my Nadine could be roped in by such a low-life lizard. He cared nothing for her, but he was outright despicable. And I'm surprised nobody killed him sooner. Speaking of Buddy's demise, Hank, where were you last evening between 7.45 and 8.15? Do you need me to repeat the question? We found your lighter at the crime scene. Did you drop it there? It was only inches from the body. No, you don't need to repeat it. I was nowhere near the crime scene. Buddy stole that lighter from me ages ago. I was parked outside the swanky little apartment Buddy set up for my wife. I was there for hours. Really? Embarrassingly, yes. Despite everything, I'm worried about her. He'll drop her quicker than a rabid raccoon once he get his filthy mitts onto the rest of that money. Sound like he wasn't going to stop until he had everything that belonged to you. And you must have been crazy with jealousy to start your wife like that. Sure as hell can't blame you for wanting to keep that what's rightly yours. But where does a man draw the line between keeping what's his and taking something that isn't, like another man's life? Look, I'm sick to death of being falsely accused of everything because of this guy. I imagine this is a pointless question, but is there anyone who can possibly vouch for your whereabouts last night? Believe it or not, yes. Carlos from the dealership. He's a mechanic from Big Daddy's. Pathetically, it's not the first time he's seen me parked out there. This time, he pulled over and told me to let it go. Said, if she'd leave me for him, she wasn't worth it. Sounds like advice worth taking. Any idea when this was? I didn't look at my watch, but I'd say it's a little before eight. Ray Ray closes up shop about eight, and I saw him leaving soon after Carlos showed up. One other thing. I heard there was a little incident you were involved in down at the dealership recently on a busy Saturday. Care to fill me in on the details? I'd be happy to. I'd gone in to clean out my desk and found Buddy kissing on my wife in my old office. It was all too much, and I shoved him out into the main part of the building. I was fixing to call him out in front of everyone there, when suddenly stupid old pants fell down around his ankles and he tripped, went face down on the floor, exposing his big ratty Elvis boxer shorts for everyone to see. And trust me, it was a sight you can't easily unsee. It was one of the most satisfying moments of my life. He even ended up with a bloody nose from the face plant. Was murdering him one of your other most satisfying moments? No idea what you were talking about. As I said before, I've had it with being accused with everything under the sun, all because of this wife-stealing scumbag. Weren't you over her that Saturday in the dealership telling him you were going to make sure he got what he deserved for what he had done to you? I have no idea. Maybe? I said a lot of things that day. You would have had a lot of unpleasant things to say to him, too, if he had done to you what he'd done to me. No doubt. We'll be in touch, Hank. Don't leave town.